And I'm going to be casting another StarCraft 2 game. Haven't done one of these in a while because I've been away from the house and kind of busy, so sorry about that. Um, if you hear any background noise, it is raining, so this match is going to be a Zerg versus Protoss. It is, I don't think I've casted either of these players before. It's going to be uh, as the green Protoss at the bottom of the map, we have Grubby, and I am familiar with this player. He's a pretty good player, very high level player, and at the top we have Triple L Orly, and Triple L I assume is the um, clan name, I don't know, I've never seen this player's name before, um, so we'll see how he does in this game, because I do not know how he plays, I don't know what builds he goes for. Uh, three of my favorite Zerg players, probably Idra, Spanishua, and Root Destiny, so I mainly watch them for Zerg games, not, not really any other Zerg players, but um... Anyhow, just before the game really starts kicking into action, let me just talk about something really quickly to do with my channel. And that is, um, I have been getting a lot of messages from people, you know, with things like they don't know how to render videos and stuff, which is why I put up a tutorial on my channel about basic render settings, how to eliminate the black bars, and to get HD quality, etc. And so. I was just going to say if you have any, like, if anybody has any questions or anything about that or you need any help to do with the video quality or casting or anything like that, you can just send me a message and I'd be happy to help. Or if you need a tutorial, I can do that as well. And people have also been asking me to make intros for them because I use Cinema 4D a lot. Well, not a lot, but I've started using it a fair amount recently. And if you don't know what that is, it is basically a... 3D modeling. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Um, Grubby just went for a Nexus before anything, and he is following it up with a Forge. The Zerg player does not have an early hatchery. The Protoss is, is blocking it anyhow. This is extremely bold from the Protoss player here, and the stand. Whoa, a bit of lag there. Sorry about that. The standard pylon coming down here at the bottom of the ramp, which signifies the expansion. Probably going to be building somewhat of a wall across here, if possible. Uh, may do that with um, another forge, but I doubt. Probably will be a gateway. And he is putting up a photon cannon, so going to follow that one with a gateway. Yeah, there the gateway is. And no upgrades for the forge, of course. Way too early in the game. He's just using that for cannons so far. And if he can populate this mineral line pretty quickly and get a fair amount of static defense he should be okay I don't want to speak too early however the Zerg player um, is not rushing he does not have a lot of Zerglings he maybe is trying to go eco heavy from now on uh, the Zerg player will see exactly what is going down just in a moment and he's probably gonna poop himself a little because he did not go for a hatchery first and the Protoss went for a Nexus before anything which is very rare, it does happen but it is pretty rare so he's gonna be thinking WTF, his draw probably just hit the floor cracked a few teeth in the process and he's wondering what the hell he should do right now Cybernetics Core is going up usually I would assume at this point instead of getting a Cybernetics Core you would save the minerals for another gateway just to get as much zealots as possible early on to defend against pushes but it looks like he is going for Cybernetics Core maybe he is worried um, I, I don't know why he would need stalkers yet anyhow that's just me I am not nearly as good as any of these players so I cannot criticize him that much anyhow we will see what happens here the two zerglings just chilling wondering what's going on maybe the zerg player I don't know what is he doing um, just skipping back over here he is getting saturation of both pages and I'm gonna pull out the production tab sorry for not doing that earlier I uh, have that up in all the games and one zealot just chasing those two little zerglings away gonna be putting another pylon over here probably gonna be a photon cannon to defend the vespian gazers if he so chooses to create one meanwhile just a uh, just a sentry sentry's pretty good choice um, just because he's gonna need force fields if he's gonna defend and then get up an army although I would think that he would go he would have gone for gateways um, instead of Cybernet's core before. Anyhow, he is going to have five gateways up pretty soon. 
and because of the early nexus he should be able to sustain a 5 gate push which is what this is, the Zerg player was going for an expansion over here is blocked by this annoying pylon that's gonna be pretty bad for the Zerg player not just because it was an expansion denied um, firstly Zerg always like to expand but that is not the problem the problem is that the Protoss did go for a nexus first and the Zerg player needs to be one base ahead um, this was a risky build but the Zerg player did not go for immediate aggression which he's probably feeling pretty bad about right now so um, he's gonna want to expand as soon as possible I don't know if that will be enough of course I have not seen this game before I do not watch the games before I cast them because I just think that's pretty boring he's going for uh, oh this is interesting he's going for a macro hatchery so it looks like um, as he populates the mineral line over here if he can get that done uh, pretty quickly he is gonna be going for uh, a push looks like or he's gonna really need a fair amount of forces to defend against the five gate that will inevitably occur and the forge is researching ground uh, ground weapons level one for the Protoss he does have um, three assimilators so looks like he's going to be getting more than just zealots he is gonna need a couple centuries for the force field and uh, another little lag spike there I'm not sure exactly why that's happening that never happens anyhow nevertheless we are gonna see a battle pretty soon pylon is going up over here he's probably gonna use that to warp in reinforcements after the first push uh, Zergon is going to want to destroy that, the pylon should be cancelled if the Protoss player is looking and there is the cancel, saving minerals of course, here is the pesky probe just right by the hatchery seeing what's going on, should be killed, there we go, and a couple Zerglings just moving around the map, however the Protoss does have a nice proxy pylon over here and the Zerg player, I don't think he is aware of that, he is spreading creep over here, that is pretty good, he is going to notice there is a force and this creep tumor is just gonna get picked off just before it finishes so that's got to be pretty annoying however another pylon going on over here so it looks like the Protoss is gonna commit to this push and he is warping in more forces all stalkers this time and it looks like the uh, Zerg is gonna be in a lot of trouble unless he can micro these roaches very well he does have five more roaches and the upgrade on the way if he can hold out till that upgrade finishes he should be uh, pretty good although he does need that roach speed and he is getting tunneling claws that is to avoid the force fields which are just destroying him those force fields are ripping him apart and a whole new wave of stalkers gonna be coming in the zerg player has got to be pooping himself a lot right now um, a bunch of overlords in the front here and drones being pulled off the line however good micro is going to nullify that push the zerg player pulling back again he does not have a lot of units over here on the mineral line I'm not sure how well he's gonna be able to defend against this he if I was him I would have thrown up a crap load of spine crawlers and hope for the best but that's just me I'm not very good so the Zerg player is doing his best right now trying to wait until his last bunch of forces pop out if he can get a good surround with the uh, 16 Zerglings that just popped out I have no idea where they are um, he should not send them in a couple at a time he did burrow the roaches he is waiting for the rest of his roaches to to stream in and they're just getting destroyed as well so trying to keep those roaches alive by burrowing them and alienating a small portion of the forces however looks like this base is definitely gonna go down which is gonna try and do some damage again and bury them that's got to be pretty annoying for the Protoss but I don't think it's gonna matter that much just because there are so many stalkers and uh, a couple more roaches should probably take out the sentries and then burrow again we'll see what he does and he's gonna want to burrow those pretty quickly he does not want them to die and the zerg is supply blocked so probably not gonna be seeing any um, significant amount of reinforcements from now on the Protoss player is moving up the ramp to the second expansion which never got saturated unfortunately and the zerg player may be able to hold this off no probably not even if he does he will be in a terrible position uh, just because he is now running on one base against the Protoss 2 which is never good and especially because the Protoss was on that 2 base very quickly and um, this hatchery is gonna have to be cancelled there's the cancel and uh, this bunch of forces may get killed actually but it does not even really get a matter for Zell it's gonna be annoying the mineral line gonna be picked off pretty soon by these roaches but the uh, Zerg player pretty unhappy right now and the Protoss that was very ballsy 
when he uh, when he plopped on that nexus he probably grew a third testicle because that is an extremely risky play you do not see that a lot it does happen but um, and it's not really a cheese because it's well no I wouldn't consider it a cheese because it's not like a really like the cannon rush or anything retarded like that you don't really see those in high level games as much although it does happen as well Roche is in here trying to do some damage probably should run them into the mineral line instead of following these however he does want to save his base does not want any kind of base race and you're going to be taking off these the burrowed roach is really helping him um, I should say however the Protoss does have a robotics bay I see he's getting out an immortal which directly counter roaches and if you can get out uh, a number of them the uh, zerg player will definitely be in a lot of trouble more than he already is he I don't see another expansion on the mini map he is probably going for one last push here to see what he can do and if he can come back for this I will have so much respect for him oh wow that pylon badly placed needs to take out that immortal nicely done he is five spine crawlers coming up for the zerg burrowing all of these there is an observer for the protoss the burrow, burrow is not going to work very nicely for the pro uh uh okay so the zerg player giving it up when the um observer came out he should have gone for the observer before the immortal in my opinion just because the burrowed roaches were pretty much the only reason why the zerg player survived so long um, regardless the Zerg player did have a very nice well not really come back but he he did try and what is this that roach is sour about life right now but anyhow the uh, Zerg player did a pretty nice um, counter the Protoss however with that five gate push and coming on with the robo bait as well not sure where uh, it was right over here um, that early Nexus really just won the game for him and um, pretty nice game I would say I'm going to be casting some more games pretty soon, haven't had a lot of time, and as I was saying pretty earlier in the game, if you need a tutorial with Cinema 4D, something simple like 3D text or whatever, you can just message me and I will do a tutorial on it. Um, and uh, any other comments, suggestions, whatever, you can either comment or send me a message. And thanks for watching, that's going to be it for today.